Hey, what's happening guys? We're back today with our part three in the build your own function generator. Now here's where, where we've left off. We have our 555 timer that outputs a square wave signal over to a low pass filter that converts it into a triangle wave. So here's your circuit diagram here of how we're doing that. There's our output pin three, outputs a square wave, goes through a simple low pass filter and gives us a triangle wave. Remember, this, this, uh, this part of the circuit here is what's called an integrator. So now we need to transform it into a sine wave. How are we going to do it? You probably already know the answer, right? It's really simple. But um, before we get into that, let's take a look at another simple function generator. Here's one of these El Cheapo. I think they're about 10 bucks function generators you can get off of eBay and I've got a 12 volt source going in and we've got the oscilloscope going up so let's probe what we've got going on here and we'll take a look at it on the scope so first of all I'm gonna probe this output here and rotate up to look at the scope okay so we're getting a square wave now, if I get this all on camera here, if I move down to this output, we get a sine wave. Now, if I switch this jumper here, get my hands in there. That's supposed to be a triangle wave. I think the amplitude is just off. Yeah, there we go. So that's the triangle wave. Well, this is all pretty simple, right? But here's what I want you to see. I mean, take a look inside. Let me pull off this jumper because it's out, just in the way. We take a look inside there. What do you see? Well, there's our pulse generator chip. That's a, that's a DDS chip. Then there's some capacitors and some resistors. That's it. It's the same principle. So if we bring back our function generator, and take a look get it to focus there we go there's our five there's our square wave output from the 555 there's our integrator giving us the triangle wave let's integrate it again and see what happens let me uh hook this up okay i got everything hooked up here now i've added a 0.01 microfarad decoupling cap before each of our integrators and I'm gonna need like three hands to get this all going here so yeah, give me a second all right I've got everything hooked up that's the wrong end of my pointy stick I've got everything hooked up here and I'm gonna I'm gonna probe the points individually here so we'll be probing this pin 3 which is our output from the 555 for our square wave then we'll be probing over here which is the out, or wait a minute, right, right here, which is the output for our um, first integrator to give us a triangle wave. Then we'll be probing the output over here, which is our second integrator to give us the square, the uh, sine wave. And I've added just a couple of 0.01 microfarad decoupling caps. So let me see if I can get all these in here. Okay, one, two. I think that's pin three. I'm gonna go rotate up. There we go. It's our square wave. And then if we come over here and probe this point, that should give us our. There you go. You can see the point we're probing. Give us our triangle. Okay. Come over here and we'll probe this point and that gives us our sine wave now you can see there's a little wiggle jiggle and there is some noise on those signals but there's not too much we can do about it I mean that's just the basis of you know building one of these things quick and dirty by yourself 
here's an idea of the circuit. Um, where's my pen? We just added a decoupling cap here and a decoupling cap here. And that's really all there is to it. You're going to have to mess around with these values here. Now this is that variable cap that allows us to change our frequency. Um, you know, you're not going to get a full wide range like you would on a store-built generator. It's just not going to work that way because these very caps have a, you know, they have limited range. But this is a simple, easy to do build it yourself frequency generator and it gives you square triangle and sine waves with changeable duty cycle which you can change by adjusting this pot here on the 555 timer and adjustable frequency you can also adjust the amplitude by you know adjusting your input voltage but that's about it pretty simple hope you guys enjoyed this if you did give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe Big thanks to all the patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.